So in this video, let's talk about the electrical part, which is not completely done, but the piping works has been done so far. So for this, we currently have a total of 16 sockets across the entire house, and then also about 14 or 15 switches, um, as well as that of fan. So the fan is going to be using the fan, um, and then the lights total gives us amount of 40. Now for the pipes that we had to use, we used a white type of pipe. Let me see if I can find some and show it to you. So that's the type of pipe we use. Now, I learned these ones are easier to be bent to it. They have this kind of springs that is electricians they use in um, bending their pipe. So that's how come we went in for that. So we use a, a bundle of it, which is like about 50 uh, pieces and it. So what we've done so far is we've done the piping works for the, the mains. This is the mains. There's a socket down here. So there's a pipe that goes down. The head wire is also going to go through this. Then all the way outside. This is a switch that controls the lights here. And then the corridor over here. And then we also have the, um, I think, yeah, 30 by 30 conduit box. One for fan, one for light. And then we have 60 by 30 for a socket here, there's another socket behind there, and then there's another socket here as well. Then, of course, we have about six sockets in all for this particular space. And then, that is a provision that has been made for the air conditioner, and then also the switch for the air conditioner, and then this provision for the solar system. And then we have a socket here as well, and then that leads to the um, porch from here. Now, as usual, you might be interested in the cost for the electrical part. So, so far we've spent 2,557 cities for the electrical. That includes cables, we bought cables 2.5 mm, about three pieces, um, red, black, and then um, yellow for the head, as well as that of the 1.5, we've also bought three pieces for that. That is. Um, red and black and we bought cables for the TV as well and then the main switch we bought that um, and then some few other things now if you look closely you notice that the pipes for the sockets are being passed on the ground as compared to going through the top so the reason for doing this is because um, passing the pipes to the top consumes a lot of cable that's the advice the electrician gave However, passing through the, the ground, at some point you're able to create a loop between the part, like the cable. So you don't necessarily have to always be passing cables um, individually. So that's how come we use, um, we are passing the cables through the ground for all the sockets. And we just have this. So this is supplying the hole. The cable is going to come from the top, supplies it down, and then goes all the way. And then for here also, a cable comes from the top, supplies it down, and then supplies this, and then supplies this. And then here, to the same thing, a cable comes from the top, supplies the down socket. And then from here, it goes to the top, there's a switch, this um, socket that also goes directly to the top. So that is basically the electrical system. And there are going to be four lights outside the entire um, building, so to inside. To each side is going to be a light, and then the porch also is going to have a light. And then in the kitchen, we are going to be having, I think, maybe one light or two. I don't know. And then the hall, we are going to have about three, three or so. Yeah. And then the bedroom is going to have like about two. And then the corridor is going to have one. The washroom or the bathroom is going to have two. One to the toilet area, one to the bathroom area. So that is basically about the light and system. So. That'll be it for this. Now for the electrical waste, the total labor is going to cost 1,600. Um, so far, we spent 500 because we just done the piping. So once everything's done, we are going to have the remaining paid. So that is basically just about it for this video. Welcome back. Today, let's take a look at the electrical work. So the electrical works has been installed. I'm currently at the hall section and over here, 
when we look up let me just point the camera up so you can see that we have the cables dropping from the ceiling so we have two lights here and then one light over there one fan there and then another fan here and then this section we have the tv cable coming out here there's going to be a socket there and then another socket there now to the right here we have the two fans going to be turned on here and then the lights are going to be turned on here and then there's a socket there as well now there's another socket here there's also one here and then there's one here now this is for the air condition switch and then this is for the drop off for the air condition when it is fixed on top of it um, this is for the solar system so the cables for the solar system and yeah so basically we have a total of three lights here two fans and then they are all going to be true controlled from here and then we have a total of six sockets here you might be wondering why um, we choose to have a lot of sockets well because um, you never know where you might be at what point and you'd need to connect something you wouldn't want to stress yourself using an extension board or something it's easier to get power so so that's how come we have like more um, sockets at you know certain point um, as i mentioned earlier we did the wiring on through the ground that is for the socket all the socket um, and this has actually helped in saving a lot of cables i must admit because even the quantity i got we still have some left so this is connecting to this and this and we have um there's this feed coming from the top here and then it supplies this and this so like they loop the cables and then there's also this from here and then when you come to the kitchen as well you notice that there's um the pipes on the ground with cables in it now here in the kitchen we have two lights and then we have one fan in the middle here so that is going to be controlled from here and then you have a socket here as well as another socket here and then another socket here so three sockets here two lights controlled from one switch and then one fan and then when you come to the bedroom you have a switch here um, there's also a switch there so that's by the bedside so in case you want to easily turn off the fan um, the light you can do that and then there's the fan also here then you have two lights here as well so you have two lights and then one fan which is going to be in the middle and then you have the tv cable also dropping out from here then you have four sockets here so one at the top one down one here and then one also here so basically this is for the bedroom and then when you come to the corridor you have where the mains are going to be so this is going to go to the meter board which is in the porch and then you have the changeover for the um, solar system, which is also over there. And then this is the main uh, distribution board, which has all the cables in it. And then you have one light here as well, which has its switch here. So this switch is going to have three um, switches, or it's a three gang switch, which is going to control the lights in the bathroom, the lights in the porch here, and then one, two lights outside. So when you come to the bathroom also you have two lights over here and then you have one socket here as well there's also one socket at this section and there are four lights to the each side um there are four lights to uh, all the sides of the house so that's outside the entire house so basically that is the electrical system which was it was just done within a day it was two people and i must admit i admire how they go about the wiring see how messed up it looks over here when they come they're able to identify where each and every one is going to so basically that is how the electrical system has been and you also notice that at the top we have pipes everywhere so this is very important uh when you're having your wiring and so that you don't have just a bare cables lying on top of the um the ceiling else you don't know it might easily catch fire and so on so once you pass them through the pipes it's easier to also even trace them in case there's um there's any issue and you need to take them off and the rest it's easier to fish for cables through the pipe so basically that is it so you notice that up there because there's the main distribution and then the changeover there are so many pipes over there which has cables in them 
So we've got a socket and a switches for the entire house. That's like about 15 pieces. And then also the switches. That's the three gang, two of the three gang, and then about three of the single ones. And then also we've got some lights. That is um, LED lights, which are going to go into the ceiling. And some extra cable that we had to get. That is a 16 mm cable for the main um, power that is if you are going to be connecting to the grid that's the type of cable that you need for that that was also used to bury the earth so we got an earth rod as well there are different types what i got is the pure copper one so the total cost for the purchasing of these items that cost around 1953 cities yeah so basically that is for the electrical work